The basic pattern is the same on any shape chair. It's a six-way pattern or a seven-step method. Two verticals, two horizontals, and two directions of diagonals. The seventh step is this binder that goes around the perimeter of the chair seat. The basic pattern starts with verticals woven from hole to hole across the chair. The second step is perpendicular to the first. Step three is a second vertical. Step three goes right on top. It lays next to step one. Step four is where the actual weaving begins. The second horizontal is woven over and under steps one and three, and it creates this really nice grid. Step five is a diagonal going in one direction. Step six would go the other. So for step five, you're crossing on top of and underneath these perpendicular pairs. You're trying to get the diagonal to fit nicely into this groove. Here we've got step five going this way. Step six does the opposite that step five does. Drand cane. It comes from the rattan palm. Well, this has a kind of a glossy coating. That's naturally occurring silica. So you want to make sure that the glossy side is on top and the raw side faces down. We've determined for this chair that the cane size is going to be fine, fine. You probably have a lot of these tools at home already. Just an awl or an ice pick will do the trick. Some twist ties, you can use scissors, an X-Acto knife something to pinch with, something to fish the cane out with. These wooden pegs are made specifically for chair caning. You can also use golf tees, a spray bottle, a washcloth, and a tub of warm water. I like to use this crock pot. It's set on warm and it just stays on warm with the lid off. You don't wanna cook the cane. I just dunked this in the crock pot on warm for about five minutes then you should definitely weave it. You should definitely weave it.